Hey everyone, Achika here again, and I'm back with another DCO base tour. And today we are joined by Valhalla. She is my electric healer here on DCUO. And she, if her name is any indicator, is loosely based off of uh, Norse mythology. Um, so she's kind of like a Valkyrie type character. Um, and so her base is based off of an area of Valhalla. <laughs> for her namesake um it's called bright home which is translated from and forgive me if i'm mispronouncing this uh all my scandinavian friends uh glothschmir i think is how you pronounce it um which is the area in valhalla that's kind of like dedicated to odin like it's his realm um so yeah it's uh like i said it's loosely based off nordic mythology um I'm not, like, a super expert in it or anything, and I, you know, I still tried to make, like, a story with it, and it's just, again, it's just loosely inspired by it. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and, uh, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get into the base door, shall we? So, we start off here at the, uh, the gate here to enter Valhalla. Uh, however, we have to trudge through Hell, uh, Hell's Realm first uh in this scenario again i'm not really quite sure how uh <laughs> how true this is so it's kind of like the fallen warriors along the way who uh who were not worthy to enter the gates of uh valhalla so um so yeah we have like a death doorway type situation here um got the valkyries or AKA Athena statues, which will, uh, yeah, DC doesn't have any Norse statues. So, um, a lot of repurposed Grecian <laughs> statues along the way. So just a heads up. Okay. So we enter hell here and we have to brave it along with all the lost souls. So I kind of saw this as like a purgatory type situation, right? So all the, uh, Lost wandering souls in the fog. And, uh, yeah. Got a lot of barnacles for the decay and just a lot of rain. Dying trees. Of course, we have to have the ravens. Because, uh, Nordic mythology and it being, uh, you know, all that good stuff. I really wanted this to feel like just like vast hopelessness, but no windows really kind of like reflecting that except for the World Forge, and even then, like it didn't really feel right. So there's just like you know, let's see here. So we keep going here. It's lots and lots of uh, sorrow afoot, lots and lots of lost souls, sadly. However, we come to another gateway here where we must brave death or hell herself and see if we're worthy. And if we're not, well, we can see there are a bunch of uh, unworthies that uh, did not quite make the cut. So we stare death right in the face and we live to tell the tale. So given that aspect we move forward and we are in a completely different realm. We are in Bright Home or the entryway to Bright Home. <laughs> so yeah, just a nice little uh entry corridor here. Got some very scenic paintings. Aha! And now we are in the main foyer. Lots of rainbows in this space, <laughs> which I enjoy <laughs> a lot. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of like an Odin-esque kind of thing. I tried my best, um, you know, with what I had to work with. So there's a lot of like, um, you know, like artifact replicas and stuff in here and uh like i said repurposed grecian stuff and a lot of uh celtic stuff as well 
<laughs> all kind of like in a generalized uh, Nordic scenario here. Uh, so we got a nice little like fountain here. Um, you can rest and reflect. Lots of greenery and life and uh, celebration for the warriors who have, you know, died in combat and uh, deserve a splendid afterlife thereafter. So we'll go up the stairs here. If we look, this is probably one of my favorite parts is uh, the Valkyrie riding in <laughs> up above presiding over uh, the rest of the foyer so just uh yeah really there's not super a lot of story to say here it's just kind of like a nice a nice heavenly um warrior hall uh and as you see up here no warrior hall would be complete without a feast. A dining hall filled with ale and meats and foods of all sorts. Desserts and honeys and every which way. All kinds of good stuff. So let's set the mood here a little bit. <laughs> Love that. So yeah, we have different. So we have the eggs and the meat here, of course. A bunch of grains and honey and herbs. Again, more meat and more food and fruits and veggies. All cooked to perfection and all served to the warriors that were are found themselves into Odin's good graces and can eat their fill. I want to play this again because I love it so much. <laughs> it's very nice. I wish you would just constantly play if it was in your base. That'd be very nice. And then, of course, the ale area. Gotta have the ale. <laughs> For our warriors. All in, under a fire pit and a nice little skylight here. All right, so warriors can always have their fill, right? So they can eat as much as they want, but there still needs to be some sort of entertainment here in Valhalla. So we have ourselves a hunting ground. Of course, there's like a small little forge here for people to, warriors to forge their own weapons or get one forged for them. So of course we take one of our weapons. We have our choice here. We have our gauntlets, so I think we're equipped to venture forth. Now we just need our armor, which as we see, all the armor is laid out for us here. <laughs> AKA my armories <laughs> with her. Um, and then we have a gate threshold, which will take us in to the proving grounds or the hunting grounds. And as we move forward, we take one glimpse at our warriors from before who have fought in battle, and we will go into our ancestral hunting grounds. So again, very overgrown here as we venture forth. That skull does not look very human. Wonder if that's some uh, an omen of things to come. <laughs> so again, a very just close knit forest. Some stags, of course, can have some in the hunting ground. Got a nice little waterfall area here with the deer. And as we turn the corner, we find ourselves. A very interesting view. And if we go through the thicket a bit further here, 
we see that an ancient battle has taken place. And the beast has been thwarted. <laughs> Fought off by warriors before us. And now the earth is trying to uh, overtake them once again. <laughs> I really like how the uh, I tried to make it look like the, you know, it was like a beast shooting forth like with its hands or whatever, but it died and now it's like all petrified and battle worn and grown over <laughs> kind of. And uh, the earth is trying to uh, regrow from where the battle once was. So all the trees are kind of taking root again. And there's a waterfall and just life sprouting from death kind of thing. So <laughs> And so since the beast had been thwarted, Thankfully, from our ancestors, we can partake in the glory. Ah! <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much Bright Home. Um, I know, like, I didn't really talk too much about it, and there's not like a lot of super detail, um, in it. Uh, but um. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the tour. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching. This was my last base that I have completely finished. Again, I'm always working on bases. I probably have over a dozen that I'm working on right now. They just need to be completed. And I just need to um, hopefully stick with one and complete it. But uh, I'm very spatteral when I create. So um, I skip around from base to base, <laughs> unfortunately. Um yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so next week we will be starting uh, base showcases, and I have a few lined up already, like I said. Um, if any of you would like to have your base showcased by me or uh, viewed or anything like that, go ahead and leave me like a comment down below, or you can send me a piece of mail on game. Uh, Chica, spelled just like my YouTube name. Uh, and I'll always happily check out bases. Um, and all that good stuff. So if you want like a reaction to me exploring your base or like critiquing it or asking for help or anything, I could always make a video of that. So let me know. <laughs> um, and yeah. Oh, and also, uh, before I forget, um, uh, there are base tours being held for Extra Life, actually. Compliments of Zoe here on the game. Um, she is the... Uh, owner of the share your base uh thread in the forums um and she's a very big base uh decorator advocate um does a lot for the community puts out a lot of videos um meta knight here on youtube uh so check her out if you guys haven't but she is hosting a uh base tour um charity uh, stream or video I should say so if you want to uh, have your base toured and put a few bucks forward for a good cause it'd be awesome um, she's trying to get the extra life started early this year uh, here on DCUO which is amazing um, so yeah if you got a couple bucks to spare and you have a base you want to get shown uh, check out her channel uh, and on the extra life page uh, and I'll leave a link below in the description uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, new videos every Wednesday. And I'll put the playlist down below in case you uh, miss my last base tours. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.